Thank you, Kelly. You've probably heard of some of these names. Ashton Kutcher, Ava Longoria, Tiffany Haddish. Now, what do they all have in common? They've had this guy, our veterinarian studio, celebrity vet, Dr. Jeff Werber, to give them techniques on how to make their home a little more pet friendly and accommodate their pets. So, Jeff, Absolutely. thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Thank Appreciate you. you. So, what we're going to talk about today is something that's really important whenever you're introducing your human baby into the world of your fur baby. So how to make that process run a little more smoothly. Maybe some of you watching are getting ready to go through that right now. Absolutely. In fact, my daughter just had a baby and, oh, and I, we just had a, a new puppy. And it's, it's the same. The whole idea basically is, first of all, kids and pets are the best. They you should are. never have, I mean, I, I my kids have never been in a house without, I've never been in a house without a pet. Yes. I mean, when I went yes. to college, I brought one of my pets with me. <laughs> Did I mean, you really? Yeah. So, so but the it. key is really to prepare. And yeah. if you have a dog, look, most dogs, it's going to be fine. Most of the time, it's going to be fine. Dogs are social if they've had a chance to interact with kids. But sometimes what will happen is you want to prevent resentment. Yes. So how do you do that? So I recommend some simple things. First okay. of all, when the baby is in, in anticipated and yes. it's coming, start backing off a little bit, not a lot, a little okay. bit of the attention to the pet. If, okay. there's a, if there's a particular treat that they really like, don't give them that treat. Oh, really? Like about a week or two before the baby's arrival. Okay. What you should okay. do now is take the baby, the blanket that you're going to bring the baby home in yeah. or the pajamas you're going to bring them, take it to the dog, have them sniff it and go, oh, oh my God, good. And give them that treat, that oh, favorite treat. Oh, they associate right. that with something positive. So now positive. when you finally bring the baby okay. home, uh, all of a sudden they're going to get that same treat. They're going to know, recognize the smell of the blanket, etc. Another mistake that a lot of people make, because they feel so guilty yeah. about paying all this attention to the new baby That's and true. sort of not the puppy, when do they they pay more attention to the dog is when the kid is napping, when the kid's not there. Well, now you're teaching that life is better for the dog without the baby. Ah, got so, it. Even, yes, even, you don't even realize that so, you're doing no, that. So you got to use a little reverse psychology. Yeah. So the best thing to do is kind of not ignore again, but hold off on the dog a little bit. But every time the baby is out, every time the baby is being carried on your arms, being fed, whatever, that's when you bring the dog over. Oh and give more oh, attention smart. to the dog. Give the dog some treats yes. when the baby's around. So basically, yes. you're, you're trying to create a situation where that dog is saying, where is that baby? I want that baby. <laughs> Yes. Just Instead lively. of where's the bacon? Where's the baby? Right? And, and it's the same thing with introducing a new puppy. We are just got a new puppy, yes. a, a rescue. And the same thing, we have four resident dogs and we have five. Wow. Dogs and, oh yeah, it's crazy. And a lot of cats. <laughs> So basically the goal is to make it fun, make it positive, and things will work out just great. I love that. It kind of goes against what you would normally right. think to do, but right. I love those tips. Dr. Jeff Werber, definitely your go-to guy when it comes to all things about pets, and I love the fact that you just have a pet, petapalooza it's going great. on Absolutely. It's the best. <laughs> at your house. Thank you, Dr. Jeff. Thank you. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.